What's up, it's Roy here. So if you stopped on this video, then you're probably debating about picking up the Pixel 6a or the Pixel 6. Both of these guys are great phones, but hopefully I can help you figure out which one you should go after and navigate you towards that purchase decision in a very simplistic approach in my opinion. So let's get right into it. So right off the bat guys, I wanna say that these two phones are great phones. So if you're looking at a Pixel phone, then you probably care about certain things out of your phone over the competition. With Google phones, obviously they make the software, so you're getting a pretty bone stock phone to a certain extent, but you're also getting some great features out of the Pixel. For example, like the hold for me and the call screening features, the live translation, and my favorite, the black magic, insanely fast voice texting that you get out of these phones. Obviously you get the software updates usually first and all those certain things. So like I said, with the phone being a tool to help you with your day-to-day -day kind of use, both of these phones are gonna perform very similar. As far as price goes, the Pixel 6a is $449 and the Pixel 6 is $599. And like I said, with this video, I wanna do a simple kind of approach to trying to figure out which one might be best for you. Now, like I said, this is a subjective type of thing. So at the end of the day, it totally depends on your preferences, but maybe I can help a little bit with that. So the first obvious reason, in my opinion, the way to kind of choose between the two phones is what type of size of phone do you prefer? Do you like a big phone or a small phone? Now, both of these phones aren't definitely tiny by any means, but the Pixel 6, is a bigger phone for sure. It's 6.5 inches and a little over 200 grams. And the Pixel 6a is sitting at 6.1 inches and a little over 170 grams. And when you're holding the two phones in your hands, so for example, both of these phones right now, guys, you can tell a clear difference that the Pixel 6a is much lighter and definitely more one-handed kind of friendly so that way you're not having to kind of scoot your hand all the way up like on a Pixel 6. You can definitely kind of reach across the phone a lot easier with the Pixel 6a. So all in all, if I had to pick a winner between the two in the size category, the Pixel 6a is definitely the clear winner. So the next reason that you might consider one of the phones over the other is the higher refresh rate that you get depending on what you prefer. So on the Pixel 6, you're getting a 90 hertz refresh rate, and on the Pixel 6a, it's a 60 hertz refresh rate. And that's kind of the standard that it's been over the years, but obviously over the, maybe the last like five, six, seven years now, there's been a lot of phones out there that are starting to come out with higher refresh rates. And once you use a 90 hertz or 120 hertz display, it's really hard to go back to a 60 hertz display. Uh, granted, there are people out there that just absolutely blows my mind, that can't tell the difference between the 90 and 60 hertz. In my opinion, it's harder to tell the difference between 120 and 90, but 90 to 60, I, I just don't understand how you can't tell the difference. It feels so much better in the hand. It's so much smoother and faster because for example, both of these phones share the Tensor chip, but with that 60 hertz display on the Pixel 6a, you can really feel, in my opinion, a lag a little bit, and it's really just because it's a 60 hertz display. But there are people out there that just don't simply care, and I kind of compare that to like people that eat well-done steaks. So when I was a kid, I totally ate well-done steaks because I didn't know any better. But once I actually had a steak that was prepared nicely and had all the juices and medium rare goodness, I will never go back to a well-done steak. But people just like eating steaks with ketchup, I guess. So I don't get it, but definitely I think that the clear winner here is the Pixel 6. So next up is the charging capabilities with both of these phones. So with the Pixel 6a, you're getting the old school 18 watt fast charging that all the other Pixels had before the Pixel 6. So that is something that's a little bit of a bummer, um, but it's technically fast charging. It's just at 18 watts. Now the Pixel 6, does have a 30 watt fast charge. So obviously it's a lot faster, but in 2022 standards, it's definitely not super fast. Honestly, it's kind of on the low end in my opinion when it comes down to it, but obviously it is almost double the speed. 
So that's not bad. Now, the other part of this is also with wireless charging. So if you're someone that cares about wireless charging, then the Pixel 6 is definitely the clear winner here because it does have wireless and reverse power share capabilities where the Pixel 6a just does not at all for whatever reason. I really would have liked to them to add wireless charging to this phone, but they didn't. But for me, it's really something that I don't personally care about that much. I don't really wirelessly charge my phones, but I think with the Pixel 6 having those capabilities, I think the clear winner for this category is the Pixel 6, just simply because it is a feature that you have, even if you don't use it. And I think the last kind of thing with both of these phones is cameras. Now, it is a weird category for me because they're almost a draw in my opinion, but yes, technically the Pixel 6 does have a better camera because it does come with the newer 50 megapixel sensor for the wide angle. And they do share both a 12 megapixel ultra wide and no telephoto. But with the Pixel 6, it does have newer hardware. Um, so at the end of the day, yes, it is taking technically better pictures, but it does pixel bend it down um, to like 12, 12 and a half megapixels, something like that. But with the Pixel 6, it's got that old school tried and true 12 megapixel camera that we have all come to know and love over the years because it's that exact same camera that people have regarded as one of the best camera phones and that is before the Pixel 6. So every Pixel before the Pixel 6 had this exact same camera. So yes, it is 12 megapixels. Yes, it is technically a downgrade on paper. But once again, guys, this is the tried and true workhorse camera that all Pixels have had. So in my opinion, I think it's kind of a draw with the cameras. But like I said, I could see people leaning towards the Pixel 6 just because technically it has a better camera uh, or better, newer, updated lenses and hardware and all that stuff. So I think the Pixel 6 technically might inch it out a little bit here. But once again, that's up to you. Now, if you tally everything up, guys, my opinion, the Pixel 6 is probably the clear winner on which one to choose. So it's up to you on what you prefer. Do you prefer a smaller phone or a bigger phone? Now, in my opinion, I think the size is probably the main thing that's going to sway people because my biggest complaint with the Pixel 6 when it came out was it was too big and that was the smallest version that they came out with. And I really, really was upset because I absolutely loved, say, for example, the Pixel 4 size, but that thing sucked as far as battery life goes. And I wish that there was a way to kind of figure out how to get the phone smaller, but obviously pack in some bigger batteries. And yes, the Pixel 6a is a little bit smaller. And I think the Pixel 6a is that perfect size, in my opinion. Um, but like I said, when it comes down to it, I think the Pixel 6 is probably the better choice but it really depends on what you prefer. So let me know guys, what do you think? If you lean towards the six, are you leaning towards the six A? Put it down in the comments. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe, ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless, see you on the next one.